have I been here? Do you like my toys? What are you gonna do to me? What do you think? You got such good eyes, Jack. Nice and blue. How do you know my name? What do you want? Nice and clear. Which way would you like to keep, Jack? Huh? <laughs> Left? Or right? <laughs> Left? Or right? Let's do the left. I'll get you as much money as you want. My friends, the great thousands in the matter of hours. Let me go and I'll make you a wealthy man, please. Let's begin. No. Huh? You've got such soft, soft skin, Jack. I've had to do a hard day's work in your life. You've done well, Jack. Very well. We've met before, all right. Very long time ago. They all told me to forget about you. I tried. I tried so very hard. But I couldn't. Come on, Jack. Can't you even grant me the, the courtesy of, of remembering my name? I, uh... After all that you put me through. You remember what you used to do to me. Think back all those years. Paul Hennessy, that sad little schoolboy you used to torture. For God's sake. I mean, we were kids. We, 
We, we were just kids. That was years ago. No! Not for me. I can never forget. I will always remember every torment, every moment, every humiliation that you put me through. And it doesn't matter what I do, it doesn't matter that we were just children. I will never forget all that pain. But that was... 15... 20 years ago. 18 years. Jesus. We were only children. We were stupid little children. I, I, I can't believe this. It, it's ludicrous. It, it's crazy. You, you... You kidnapped me. All over something that happened in school. Yes. This is fucking madness, Hennessy. Oh! No one calls me mad. No one. Oh. You hear? Oh, you owe me such a debt. I can hardly remember any of that bullshit. I was just a kid. But you weren't a normal kid, Jack. You were an animal, a 12-year-old sadist. How could anyone forget the way you terrorized me at that school? You turned every day in that place into a living hell for me. I don't really remember an awful lot from that time. Lies! You do! You remember everything! Everything you did to me! It doesn't matter how long ago it was. It doesn't matter that we were just children. You remember all your games? All your verbal abuse? All the beatings? You remember all the psychological torture? No, I don't. Do you know what it does to a 12-year-old boy? to be systematically humiliated in front of an entire school. Look, I know it must have been very difficult for you back then, and I'm sorry that you got picked on. But for God's sake, Paul, that was a very long time ago. No, because I was a bit different, wasn't it? I, I didn't fit in, did I? Paul, Paul, just, just calm down, okay? Now, look, I'm really sorry if I hurt you, but please, understand. I mean, what was done to you was terrible. It was wrong. It was all so wrong, but I just didn't realize the impact of all that stuff. Jesus Christ, Paul. Try and think rationally of... How does it feel? Cold to the touch. Huh? Are you afraid? I didn't know what to be. I could slit your throat right now. Oh, by Christ, I want to. I'm so sorry, Paul. I, I had no idea what I was doing to you back then. Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about what you did back then, huh? Come on, Jack. Let's have a, a chat about old times. Do you remember all your old tricks? Mm. Do you remember that day? The day I will never forget. The day you taught me a lesson about opening my mouth about you. Hmm? You remember what you did to me that day? Um, you what? Look, I am really ashamed of what I did back then, Paul. You have to believe me. No, go, go on. What did you do? I, uh, I, I think... Uh, I, I, I think I... I think I... took your trousers down. Yes! Correct! Didn't you used to do this with your pen knife? Didn't you think this was a funny thing to do? <laughs> Don't you think it's funny now, huh? Why aren't you laughing, Jack?
What effect do you think all those things had on me when I was growing up? I don't know, Paul. I have absolutely no idea. Is that right? Well, there's one thing I think you do know, and I would like you to tell me. Why? Why did you do all those things to me, huh? I would appreciate an explanation. I don't know. I you know what got into me in that school. I was wild. No. Now, I think you do know. Now, I want, I want you to tell me why. I don't know. It was just something to do. Something to do? Now, that's a lie. I am not a fool. There is a real reason, and I want it. I was, I was just showing off to all the other kids. That's all, just showing off. Yes! OK, now, that was part of the reason. But sometimes, Jack, there was nobody else around. Now, was there? No! There was a reason, a real reason. And I want to know it. <laughs> you wore glasses and, um, you were so thin. Go on. I, I was stronger than you were. You were no match for me. Yes! Okay. Again, that was part of the reason. But I want to know why you kept on doing it over and over again so many times! It's just the way kids are. They, they do bad things, stupid things. Oh, no. You weren't stupid. You were always a smart fucker. Now, there was a real reason, and I want it. I can't remember. Lies. I saw the kids doing it. More lies! I want truth! I just wanted some attention. Why? I don't know why. Answer me! I don't know why. Why? Why? Just say it, say the fucking words, because I enjoyed it! Of course you did. How much did you pay for these? You like them? They're handmade. Cost me 700 quid. 700 quid. I saw you come, didn't I? To suit you. Do you think so? This is my father's room. He used to come down here for hours on end. for hours and hours, over and over. Congratulations, Paul. You've done it. This stunt of yours has been very daring. You've confronted me, scared the life out of me. You've gotten all those years of hatred out of your system. OK, so I was a rotten little bastard, and I'm sorry for all that. So why don't you just Put an end to this crazy scheme of yours and let me go. Look, the, the police are going to find me eventually. So why don't you just give yourself up before you get into any more trouble? Do you realize the amount of trouble you're in, Paul? You're going to go to 
jail for this. Look, I'll make a deal with you, okay? Let me go now, and I give you my word, I swear to God, I won't go to the police about this. No one will ever know. It's just between you and me, all right? I'll even give you some money just to make up for what happened between us. I'll give you, say, um... £5,000, okay? What do you say, Paul? In 17th century England, they had a test. To see if you practiced black magic. They made you plunge your arm into a cauldron of boiling water to pluck a coin from the bottom. If afterwards your skin blistered, then you were guilty of witchcraft. And if it didn't, then you were released. From this came the phrase, through hell or high water. Hello, Mr. Doyle. Oh, dear. What can the matter be? Do you know, Mr. Doyle, I think your neck is bleeding. You want me to get a plaster for it? It's very funny, Paul. I made it when I was 11. It was my only escape from everything. It'll make a man out of him! That's my final word on the subject! I won't have my authority undermined in this house. Do you understand? talk to any of your family about this? I mean, maybe they could help you through whatever situation it is that you're going through. They're all dead. There's no one else. What about professionals? Counselors, you know, people like that. It's too late for all that. Much too late. You know, if we could just talk about this like civilized adults somewhere else, maybe I could help you through it in some way. Do you want me to talk to your psychiatrists? I don't have a psychiatrist. I thought all rich people had psychiatrists. Do you know any famous people? Yeah, I know a few. What are they like? Same as you and me. A bit more fucked up. <laughs> Nothing you can say is gonna change anything. I've made my mind up. Made your mind up about what, Paul? <laughs> what do you mean, you've made your mind up? What the fuck are you talking about, Hennessy? 
Oh, it's so easy for you to act like this when you have me safely tied up, isn't it? It's easy to hit somebody when they can't hit you back. Why don't you set me loose? Hmm? Come on, Hennessy. Why don't you untie me? Let's see what you're really made of. Come on! We're both the same size now. Let's see who's the better man. Or do you still not have the guts to take me on? You didn't have the balls to take me on as a kid, and you don't have the balls to take me on now. You know, I don't care what you say, but you never really stood up to me. If you had put up a proper fight just once, then maybe I would have respected you, but you didn't. Because you were nothing but a sniveling, whinging coward, and that's all you are now. And there's one thing you forget, Hennessy. The reason why everybody always picked on you? Everybody always said it. Because you were a weirdo. A spacer. Fucking head case. I don't care what anyone thinks! Why now? What? Why come after me after all these years? This is how you came back to haunt me, Jack. This man? Mr. Jack Doyle and his wife, Linda, at the annual business awards last night, where Mr. Doyle was voted Entrepreneur of the Year his outstanding success with his chain of nightclubs. Mr. Doyle owns two nightclubs in Dublin, one in Cork, and has a share in a new London venue. Well, that just had to be the final straw now, didn't it? Huh? You there, grinning out at me from that photograph, laughing at me like, <laughs> like you knew I'd see it. Huh? Jesus Christ, it's just some stupid award. You've done very well, Jack. I've been following your career very closely. Huh? If only they could all see you now. Entrepreneur of the year. We all got to make a living somehow. Mm. What do you do? My last job was as hospital porter. That's a job. Hands up anybody here who's been to university, huh? Well, have you? No, I haven't. <laughs> Look, Paul. I have. I spent years there. Well, that's an achievement in itself. I sacrificed so much for my education, and it's given me nothing in return. No career, nothing. Just thoughts. Look, Paul, I'll get you the best counseling that there is, okay? That money can buy. You've no idea, have you? You've no idea how much I've learned. I have read hundreds of books, hundreds of great books. Oh, novels, plays, poetry. People's stories, their stories, their dreams, their ideas. Oh, such ideas when I think back. All oh, the wonderful stories I've read. Such brilliant words written by great people. Huh? Uh, prose that has moved me to tears. But you, now, why would you care about that, huh? Why would any of that interest you, no? Not when you're earning big money from your flashy clubs getting fancy awards, huh? Getting your photograph taken with rock stars. What use are any stupid books to you? I mean, Paul Hennessy, I have acquired so much knowledge. I have studied everything, almost everything there is to study. I've done it. You have gotten away with this. You've done nothing but look at you. Hmm? You're the success. You're wealthy. You're a celebrity. I have studied so hard. 
so hard for you. I've done everything everybody said I should do. And now look at me. I have nothing. I'm on my own. I haven't got a career because I can't hold down a job as a hospital. Sir. Bastards like you that do well, isn't it? I've done well because I work hard, very hard. I work 12 hours a day, every fucking day, and I've been doing it for the last 10 years. I don't sit around feeling sorry for myself. And I don't sit around dwelling about what happened to me when I was a kid. <laughs> it must kill you to see me being successful. It must really eat you up when all you can do is wallow in your own self-pity. Look at you. Look at what you've become. You're the bully now with your dark cellar and your knives and your screwdrivers. You're the sadist now. Not me. Not me. I haven't finished yet. You know, Jack, you remind me a lot of my father. What? <laughs> he was a lot like you. Wealthy, successful, but most of all, violent. Are you familiar with the phrase, give me the boy and I'll show you the man? No, I am not. Hmm. Well, do you think that phrase applies to you. Do you think you have changed since you were a sadistic little animal? Of course I have. Totally. No. I don't think that's quite true. In fact, I'm quite convinced that you're the same vicious little bastard that you were years ago. But who are you tormenting now? Who are your new victims now, Jack? I don't have any victims now. I've grown up. Isn't it about time you did too? Hmm. I saw you recently. I was very close to you, but you didn't notice me. You were with your wife, Belinda. What's this got to do with her? What has this got to do with her? She's a very beautiful woman, Linda. I can't think what she's doing with a bastard like you. I saw her recently in the hospital where I used to work. There was something about her reminded me of somebody. Why was she in hospital, Jack? None of your business. Why was she in hospital, Jack? She had an accident at home. She was up in the attic and she slipped. You beat her, don't you? No, I don't. I may not be a very nice person, but I love my wife. You attack your own wife. I love my wife. I would never hurt her. Tell me the truth now, Jack. Don't you beat your wife. Don't you get off on hurting Linda. I have never touched her. Now, I know that underneath it all, you have a conscience. So I will ask you once more. Don't you beat Linda. No! Aren't you doing the same things to her that you did to me? You shut the fuck up! You're mad, Hennessy. You should be in a padded cell. You're a maniac! You should have been put away in an institution, you fucking bastard! I... I stole these. I borrowed these from... The hospital where I used to work.
Looks like we've both turned out to be something rather nasty, doesn't it? Please, let me go home. I just want to go home to my wife. Now you know what it feels like to look down the barrel of a gun and think, this is where it all ends.